Hello, hello! If you're new here, my name is Echo. And if you're not new here, look! I finally found my play button! Shall we begin? So first, let's do a general explanation of what exactly is happening. For the last couple weeks, I have been doing these character design live streams on Sunday on my second channel, where we all work together and make a bunch of polls for different characteristics that an original character could have. And then I draw it, because I'm an artist. So that's what this video is. I'm going to be drawing the last character that we came up with in my last live stream. Unfortunately, I was having a bit of problems with the polls, because there was a small group of people who would vote hundreds of times on a single poll to make sure that the characteristic they wanted won. Voting multiple times can be completely fine as long as everyone is on the same page. So in the future, at some point, I do want to make a set of polls that are just vote as many times as you want, just like if you really care about one characteristic, just vote. That way in those polls, the characteristics that win will be the ones that people are most passionate about rather than just the ones that the majority want. But from here on out, uh, please only vote once per person unless otherwise stated. Cool. Rules are helpful. We're inventing this process together. There are going to be some weird ups and downs along the way. We will make it work. So the first thing we need to do is go through the characteristics that were most voted on in the polls so that we can figure out what exactly this character is going to look like. So first of all, in terms of their body type, they are a small bean, short and lean. Their age is about 16 going on 17. In terms of their gender, they are gender fluid, which to my understanding essentially means that they aren't necessarily tied down to one point on the gender spectrum. In other words, their gender can change. Because of this, I have decided to make the character pronoun indifferent in gender general, I'm probably going to try to use they, but you can pretty much address them in whatever way you feel appropriate. In terms of their hair type, it is floofy, and their hair color is an amber ombre. Their eye color is gray, they have ripped jeans, converse, and a flannel shirt. Their general aesthetic and clothing color is pastel. They have a lip ring, beanie, and freckles. They have a pet ghost, they are sarcastic and sassy. Their favorite food is cheesecake, and their favorite drink is hot chocolate. They play the ukulele as a hobby, and they are a student that procrastinates. At some point in their past, they believe they saw a ghost, which is probably why they have a pet ghost. They are are happy-ish and they are motivated by magic. Okay, cool. Welcome to the overhead. Now it's time for process stuff. So the first thing that I figured I should draw is um, just like background elements based on things that this character likes. And based on the polls, we know they like cheesecake, hot chocolate, and ukuleles. So I drew those things. I drew two ukuleles and I like them both, so I'm gonna be using all of these drawings. Just like last time, I did a couple sketches on note cards as the results for the polls were slowly coming in. I figured the best thing I could do is to start with just a full body sketch, but I'm not gonna draw on the freckles with ink. I'm actually gonna do those in Photoshop and I'll explain why when we get there. So according to the poll results, this person is supposed to wear a beanie and have floofy hair, which are Kind of contradicting because it's a little bit difficult to get a beanie over fluffy hair, but I think I was able to make it work. I'm okay with this. So this next drawing that I'm going to show you actually didn't end up being part of this, but I wanted to show it to you anyway just because I think it's important to show your mistakes and the things that you don't like. So because this person is gender fluid, I wanted to draw them in like a mirror image where on one side they would be presenting very masculine and on the other side they would be presenting very feminine. But I didn't really like how it was coming out, so I decided to just finish the line art and scrap it. I decided to include it in this video just because I want to show you that not everything I do is always perfect and there's plenty of drawings that I'm just not happy with. I feel like it helps drive home the point that I am just a human artist. I'll go ahead and post the line art on Twitter and then you can color it if you want to. Feel free. So now let's move on to the actual image I decided to include in this. Their personality type is supposed to be sassy and sarcastic so I drew them with this very sarcastic look in their eyes. For this particular drawing I wanted to make them just staring off into space with some hot chocolate. Towards the end I realized this drawing was going to be too big if I wanted to make the full thing, so I ended up adding another piece of paper to it with a sticky note. I figured I could just splice them together in Photoshop. And then after I finished the line art, I realized I also forgot to draw marshmallows in the hot chocolate, so I just drew a couple random marshmallows off to the side. Photoshop is a lifesaver. And then we move on into Photoshop. I decided to do the same basic layout as the last one where there's a full body sketch on the left side and then another more intimate drawing on the right. Naturally, the first thing that I do in Photoshop is clean up all of the line art and start placing all of the color areas. Honestly, this is the thing that probably takes the most time when I'm doing my artwork. I don't really mind it though because it kind of feels like meditation and I can just put in some music and zone out. Turn on some Panic at the Disco Melanie Martinez mashups and listen to the spaghetti version of Lose Yourself. Arm spaghetti. You know, the good stuff on YouTube. Yep, good old YouTube music. So because this person's overall color scheme is supposed to be pastel, I figured I would go ahead and give them like pale pink porcelain skin because I figured it would match the tone of the overall image and also because it'll make their freckles stand out. So something I've done with the color in this is that I've actually changed the line art from black to a deep purple. And the reason that I've done this is because when you're doing a pastel piece, 
A deep purple will trick your brain into thinking that you're looking at a lighter black, which is great if you're doing pastel. A pastel is essentially a very light, very saturated color. So if you make your line art a purple instead of a gray or a black, it'll have a similar feel to that high saturation. I mean, you could just use gray. If it works for your piece, then you can just use gray. I don't know, I could, I could be wrong. I'm like the least qualified professional, professional artist out there. So at this point, I pulled in all the random drawing elements that I had before, and I just kind of layered them into a big pattern. I feel like it makes the background look just a tiny bit more complex and impressive than it actually is. So because I'm doing a close-up on the right side, I thought I should go ahead and give them each their own kind of like background segments rather than just completely coloring the background. Mainly because one of them is a close-up and I need a way to kind of cut it off without looking awkward. Also, it's another way I can take advantage of the pastel color palette. And then I finally remembered to put the marshmallows in their hot chocolate. Photoshop saves the day again. For the amber ombre, I actually had to break up the hair into a bunch of pieces and then kind of add the gradient for each individual section. So many random little details that no one's gonna notice. So because their hair and their beanie are warm pastel tones, I decided to change the outline color from purple to maroon. But because the maroon is slightly more yellow than the purple, it tricks your eye into thinking that it's just brown. I make it sound like I know color theory but I don't. And then the second to last thing that I did with this was to add a flannel pattern. I could go in and actually draw a flannel pattern that would make sense based on the folds of the clothing, but I'm too lazy for that and I have been working on this for forever, so I'm just gonna mask it in. I mean, that's kind of what professional mangaka have to do with screen tones anyway, don't judge me. And then finally, the moment that we've all been waiting for their freckles. With this OC, I wanted to give them pepper freckles. You know when there's just like 50 million little ones all over their cheeks? Speckle freckles. That's not something I can accomplish as easily in ink. So instead I added their freckles here. And we're done! Ta-da! This is our lovely person! Look at all this magic! I think we're good. I think we're done here. And here we have our lovely HMOC. But they're not done yet because they still need a name. And to me, that's like the most important part. So this is how we're gonna name this character. I'm gonna try something different. For the first 24 hours that this video is live, you can suggest whatever names you would like in the comment section. If you see any other names that you really like, please like those comments so they rise to the top and I can see them more clearly. And then after after that one day of being live, I'm going to take the most popular and most voted on answers and I'm going to put it in a poll that will show up right there in the cards. And then you can come back to this video tomorrow and vote on which name you like the most. I'm probably going to make the poll last like two or three days, I'm not entirely sure yet. And then if that time frame is already over, you should be able to just check and see what the most popular name was. And there we have it things and stuff. And then before I go, I want to quickly talk about the HMOC that we made last time, because we finally have an official name for him. This da -na -na -na, is Damien and his fox companion, Kiro. Congratulations! We did it! Yay! If you would like to help with future HMOCs, then you can subscribe to my second channel where I do my live streams Sundays in the afternoon. That is where the survey process starts when we make the survey, and then you have a certain period of time to vote on the survey, and then I get the characteristics and make this video. And then we vote on the name, and that's the whole process. Also, Damien got so much fan art in like the first week of his existence. That was really intense. Like I'm amazed at how much fan art this like original character got just kind of overnight. Like you guys are awesome. Thank you for that. But I think that is everything and hopefully I will see you later. Bye. See you on Sunday in the afternoon on my second channel. Live stream. Be there. Are you gonna are you gonna come over here? You're never in my videos. I want the people to see more than just your ears. This is Duke. He's the one who uh hides in the background of my videos. You're a good boy.